Hi. Oh, yes, this is live. Hello, 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 hello. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, what's the date of today? Today is, um, today is the, it's, today's August, August 11th. Today is August 11th. So, um, I'm excited for us to have another session today. How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? I hope everyone is good. I hope y'all are good. I hope, uh, it's Wednesday. So we are halfway into the week. How are y'all doing? I hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing well. It's actually, um, what is it called? It's, um, a vacation in Japan. So we've been on vacation. Well, I've been on vacation from today. So I'm excited. Uh, I've just been chilling all day, <laughs> playing around, having fun. So I'm excited for today's one scholarship a day. Please don't mind. I was what? Almost 13 minutes late. <laughs> I am so sorry, you guys. I was 13 minutes late. So just give me a moment. Let me start this live also on Clubhouse. Let me start this live on Clubhouse such that we can get it. We can get it started. We can. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, this is not good. <sighs> yeah, something happened. <laughs> Normally on Clubhouse, when you schedule a room, I think you have to like be there about 15 minutes before time. If not, uh, you are going to be... Uh, the room disappears. So the room has disappeared because I was late, you guys. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm just going to keep this short and sweet. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Yeah, it's no, it's no longer a scheduled room, but it's okay. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Hey, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, welcome to one scholarship a day. Welcome to one scholarship a day. How does this work? How Ruth, did you raise your hand to come up on stage? No, I haven't. How are you? I'm doing well. Oh, oh, wow. It's a private room. Oh, man. Okay, let me open it up. I don't know. All right, let me open it up. For those on Instagram, I'm so sorry, you guys. I am so sorry. Um, it seems like I didn't, I didn't, yes, the room wasn't scheduled. So now it's having problems. Anywho, anywho. Hey, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Linden uh, on Instagram. Uh, hello, Angui. Hello, uh, Petiek. And on Clubhouse, hello, Ali. Hello, Ruth. Hello, M. Hello, Tisa. Thank you guys so much for joining me on One Scholarship a Day. Uh, today I'm excited because we have a scholarship in Germany. Germany, Germany. When was the last time we had a scholarship to Germany? It's been a bit, right? It's been a bit since we had some scholarships to Germany. So I'm excited about today's uh, scholarship. It took a while for me to find scholarships. Listen, keeping up with One Scholarship a Day isn't easy. That is actually why I was late. So um, it's interesting that uh, today we have a scholarship to Germany and uh, we are going to be talking about it. So if you are interested in studying in Germany, if Germany is a study destination that you're curious about, if you're thinking about opportunities that you can get your studies paid for in Germany, definitely stick around, stick around, stick around till the end of this. And as usual, I'm going to tweet out a link to the scholarship. I'm going to tweet it out, tweet it out, tweet it out. So if you do not follow me on Instagram, definitely go and follow me on Instagram and follow me on Twitter. I'm going to tweet out the link to the scholarship. So definitely follow me on Inst on Twitter because that is where I'm going to share the link to the scholarship. And I'm going to take a, a screenshot of the official page of the scholarship and I'll put it in my Instagram stories because I want you all to be able to compare the official page where I'm, what, I, what I'm talking about versus what you have in your hands. So I'm going to put the the official picture of the website of that scholarship in my Instagram story. So follow me on Instagram to make sure that you can compare the picture that you have with the link that you're going to tap on on uh, Twitter. Okay, that's how it goes. Alrighty, let me start it. I'm going to keep it short and sweet such that you all can get to your thousand things that you have to do. Hey, everybody. My name is Sylvie and I am the founder of LearnHowToGetAScholarship.com. LearnHowToGetAScholarship.com is a website where we curate scholarships for international students and we prepare students to apply for scholarships. We do that through group classes, through one-on-one -on -one classes and through standalone services. And recently we have started scholarship tutoring. Listen, you guys, I was so excited about this because I want us to be able to create this community where 
you have scholarship seekers being able to be helped by scholarship grantees. So let's take, for example, that you want to apply for what scholarships are out right now. There are so many scholarships that are out right now. But let's just give an example of, okay, the Vanier, the Vanier graduate scholarships that are available right now to, uh, to Canada, right? Let's just say that you've picked that scholarship. That is a scholarship you want to apply for. You come to us, you tell us that, all right, this is my scholarship that I want to apply for. And we are going to link you with someone who has gone the scholarship and that person is going to serve as a tutor to you from the start of your application process right through to the end how cool is that how cool is that i'm so excited uh, that we are starting this and of course if you want one-on-one -on -one classes we have the experts to work with you if you want group classes we are here to work with you but i'm so excited about scholarship tutoring so if you want all of those and if you are a scholarship grantee please please do well to reach out to us we would like to have you on board as a tutor Tutor, so you can tutor others. We want to create this community of us helping each other in order to get scholarships. So please, please, please reach out to me if you're interested in any of those. Alrighty. So um, I have a YouTube channel, you guys. I hope that you all know. If you don't, please, please, please get that today. The link to the YouTube channel is in, is a link tree link in my Instagram bio. So definitely go ahead, check out the, the, the YouTube channel. There are usually uh, posts. Of course, I post these videos, the daily or one scholarship a day videos. But over the weekends, I always take time to do like top five fully funded scholarships. As you see in the title of this video, that is actually a scholar, a video that I'm I'm going to be posting by the end of this week on saturday that is a video that is going to go up on saturday so please if you are looking for fully funded bachelor scholarships definitely go to the to the youtube channel subscribe and turn the notifications on so that you are informed when i post the video and of course if it is not for you that is fine too be a vessel spread it out to a friend a brother a sister an auntie an uncle someone in your local church someone in your local community or some kid on the block that you just know that happens to be very smart and you know that they deserve a scholarship so if you get that information it may not be for you so definitely do well to spread it out Alrighty, on clubhouse this conversation is brought to you by the study abroad club so for those on clubhouse click that tiny house above my head go and follow the club and i'm going to invite you all to be members Alrighty. Normally, when I speak about scholarships, I always say get a pen and a paper and take notes because I'm not going to be repeating the, the scholarships. But on one scholarship a day, you do not have to because I'm going to tweet out the link to the scholarship. So I hope all of you, if you are new here, please do want to follow me on Twitter because that is where you will find the link to the scholarship. And I'll put a, a screenshot of it in my Instagram story. So follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Alrighty, let's get to our scholarship for today. Let us get to our scholarship for today. I'm so excited about it. So this scholarship is called the DAAD Scholarship for Students from Developing Countries. The DAAD Scholarships for Students from Developing Countries. And this is actually done, uh, like DAAD is partnering with the Munich Intellectual Property Law Center. That is what it's called. The Munich Intellectual Property Law Center. And let uh, me just read a bit. It says that the Munich uh, Intellectual Property uh, Law Center is a part of the DAAD's program for developing related postgraduate courses. If you would like to apply for the scholarship offered in this context, please note that special conditions apply. Of course, like in all scholarships, right? You need to meet certain, uh, certain uh, requirements. But let's get to the money because they start the scholarship with the money. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get to the money. You know, I'm always excited when we are talking about the money. How much are we going to be getting though? Yeah, there is a big talk about scholarships. We are providing scholarships, but how much? How much are we getting? So let's get to the money. So it says that they are going to give you actually a full tuition waiver. That is number one. Secondly, they'll give you a monthly stipend of 850 euro. And then payments, they're going to make payments towards your health, accident, liability, uh, insurance and coverage while you are in Germany. They are going to give you a travel allowance unless these costs are covered by your home country or another funding source they are going to give you travel allowance and they are going to give you a study and research allowance and then they are going to give you a mandatory two-month german course before you start your program how cool is that you guys how cool is that tuition waived stipend 850 uh, euro per month and then you're going to get payments towards your health accident liability while in germany you're going to get a travel allowance you're going to get a study and research allowance and then they are going to help you study the german language how cool is that 
how cool is that that is the benefit of this particular scholarship Alrighty, so let's get to it let's say uh let's go to the eligibility let's see who can apply who can apply because guess what you guys at the end of the day eligibility matters sometimes you may not be able to apply for it so the first eligibility is you need to be from a developing country I don't know where everyone comes from, but there are countries that are called developing countries. You need to be uh, be from one of those. And you have not been living outside of your home country for more than the past two years. So if you've been living in some place else in the world, <laughs> you cannot apply for this scholarship. So Ruth, <laughs> I'm sorry because I know that uh, you are Namibian and you live in India. So you are definitely not going to be qualified to apply for this scholarship. And then um, <laughs> it says that you hold at least a four-year bachelor's degree uh, completed with like above average results. So they are not pushing for like first class or whatever. They just say above average results. So that is open to interpretation. That can go left and right. Like what is above average results? Maybe if you have a GPA of three on four, that's cool. Maybe that's cool for anyone who is going to be applying, right? And then it says you received your latest uh, degree no more than six years before application. So you needed to have finished your bachelor's degree within the last six years. And you need to have at least two years of full-time professional experience gained in a public authority or state or private company in a developed country. You guys, this is a scholarship that is targeting professionals. Professionals, professionals. And, it, and that is why you see how they are relaxed on the on uh the the uh the the results right they say above average results why are they saying above average most times when you find certain scholarships for example yesterday we're talking about uh the world science academy uh scholarships by the way ruth are you you missed it you were here yesterday and this scholarship is actually for international students to india it's for international students to India. That is a scholarship that we had tomorrow, uh, yesterday. I hope you were able to catch it up on the on the YouTube channel. And what do we see on that particular scholarship? They asked for uh, not above average results. They were asking for uh, a first class or a second class upper, right? That is what they were asking for on that particular scholarship. But now you see this one because they are targeting those that have like two years full-time professional experience. What is the priority? The priority is those that have been working, right? So they are going to be leaning a lot towards uh, those that have been working. If you have been working for some time, it is now going to be, uh, what they are really going to judge you a lot by is your accolades at work as a professional. So they're not really going to, these are those scholarships that we always talk about when we, someone says, I have, um, uh, I don't have a very good GPA. What am I supposed to do? How do I get a scholarship with a low GPA? I don't know if you all, you all have been in these rooms. We had a room about that. And I spoke to you all about, if you have a low GPA, go and work go and work and then after working for some a couple of years then now start targeting these professional scholarships because with these professional scholarships their target yeah of course you should have studied yeah but the focus is not oh we are looking for a first class honors we are looking for a second class upper that that, that is not the focus they are focusing more on you need to have had uh, this number of years of experience. Sometimes if you, if there is anyone here who is applying to the Swedish Institute scholarship, they always talk about, uh, what was it? 2,800 hours of work. I think that is what it is. And then some here, they say two years of work. So what you see that they are focused on here has a lot to do with your, uh, professional, professional expertise. What have you done while at work? What are the accolades you have gotten while working, right? Those are the things that they are going to put together in order to judge your scholarship application. So they are going to push for that. They are going to look into that. You, you, you're, you're great. Yeah. But that is not really going to be the, the focus. That's why it, it's very, it's very, uh, broad, we can say it says that uh, completed with above average results. Above average results is not specific enough. Anything can be above average results, right? So yes, it says that you need to have at least two years full time professional experience gained in public authority, a state or private company in a developing country. And to meet this requirement, it is sufficient if you have completed two years by February of the year in which you intend to start your study. So you see, it's like one year and a couple of months even. So if you've uh, if you are actually gradually leaning towards because this program is going to be starting uh february next year so if you've been working and this is what we are seven months no we are what this is uh august so uh september october november december january so if you've been working for like uh one year, seven months, you can actually pull through to apply for this particular scholarship, right? Because you're going to be wrapping up to two years by the time you apply for the scholarship. So that's amazing. That is really, really amazing. So it says, um, 
So you see how flexible they are with it. Uh, scientific university staff or or and academics are not the core target group of this program and are therefore considered only in exceptional cases. Exactly what I was just saying. I didn't even know it was written. Academics are not the core target group of this program. You guys, this is what I was talking about when I was saying that when you when you see those scholarships where they target like okay first class honors those are scholarships that are targeting academics that's why i always say when you pick your scholarships remember not all scholarships are for you the certain scholarships they are going to sell you as a better scholarship candidate and there are certain scholarships that you are going to be competing but you will be competing shorter compared to others so pick scholarships that are going to sell you as a better scholarship candidate and not scholarships where you, your competition is going to be way above you because if you go for example to the scholarship that we we're talking about yesterday and if you haven't checked it definitely go check it the video is on youtube if you go there and you're not a core academic and you're competing with people who have first class degrees second class upper you don't have a chance right you don't have a chance but you see that here it is more flexible and also, I, I, di I didn't see any age requirements here, but because of how it is structured, I take it that probably they are also not going to be extremely strict on the age limits. Because if you've been working for like, yeah, let's say one year, two years. So if you are probably in your late 20s, you can probably still apply for the scholarship. Maybe early 30s, you can still apply for this particular scholarship, okay? And then it says... Um, special application of course the application deadlines the deadline for this particular scholarship is uh october 15th i think yes this is what is written here october 15th so it has now uh the application procedure that you all the, your job is to go check out the application procedure and of course check out the the uh the not how much the eligibility to see if you are eligible to apply for this scholarship. So that was our scholarship for August 11th, the DAAD. You all know I take notes of these scholarships, right? I take notes such that when you all, uh, like you come and you throw a question at me very quick, I can just be like, oh, 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 what scholarship, what scholarship, what scholarship is there? And then I throw it back to you so that you can get some ideas. And I also take notes because I get to curate scholarships for you all. Like those that get to, uh, the private students that get to join our courses i have to curate scholarships for you so i have to take notes so i have scholarships to give you so it says uh the daad scholarships for students for developing countries so yes i've taken note of the scholarship and then i'm going to tweet it out right now i'm going to tweet it out tweet it out tweet it out i hope you all follow me on twitter if you don't please do and for those that are on clubhouse if you have a question please feel free to raise your hand come up on stage let's chit chat ruth got on stage without raising her hand up so probably the club clubhouse algorithms who knows how it's working and for those that are on instagram if you have a question put it in the comment section and i am going to answer your questions okay i'm going to answer your questions so i'm tweeting out the link to the scholarship of course you all know i'm going to take a screenshot of the official page of the scholarship and i'll put it in my instagram stories so if you do not follow me on instagram please 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 do want to make sure you go follow me on instagram so you can compare the picture that you're going to find on uh on tw on twitter with what you're going to find there so that you are sure that you are on the right page all righty i'll tweet it out you guys i'll tweet it out so definitely go there like the tweet retweet the tweets and uh, share it with with those within your local community and if you have any kid that you think is smart enough and is scholarship worthy please tell them about the scholarship okay our scholarship for today uh august 11th is the daad scholarships for students from developing countries to go study in germany and it is provided to you all in uh, the daad in partnership with the munich intellectual property law center so in, i don't know if it means that those that are going to go study for this scholarship have to go study in munich i am not i don't know i don't know if that's going to be the case but uh yes it's at the munich intellectual property law center so y'all check it out check it out check it out and see if it's a scholarship that you would like to apply for Alrighty, let's talk top five fully funded bachelor scholarships that I am going to be talking about over the weekend. I'm going to post a video for everybody, you guys. Y'all know how hard it is to find fully funded bachelor scholarships. Like, I struggle each time uh, high school students, bachelor students reach out and like, please, I'm looking for a scholarship to do my bachelor's. And I always struggle in order to curate scholarships. So I'm extremely hyped 
about the video that i'm going to release on saturday because finally we got five fully funded bachelor scholarships like who oh oh that was hard to put through so i'm so excited about the scholarship if you are an international student if you have a friend a brother a sister an auntie someone that is looking towards the bachelor's program there are scholarships that i'm going to be posting over on saturday i'm going to post it on saturday so please 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 definitely do well to go to the youtube channel subscribe turn the notifications on such that when i post it you are informed about it and of course if the scholarship is not for you please be a vessel to spread it out to anyone that you know that may be qualified to apply to the scholarship so thank you guys so much for joining me i have a room on clubhouse after this with duta uh, probably in about 26 minutes. Yeah, we are going to have a room where we are going to be talking culture shocks when you go to study abroad. So that is, if you want to join in, definitely join in in that conversation. Come by, come by. We are going to talk more about the scholarship tutoring. So y'all come by. We are going to talk more about it. So y'all, uh, thank you guys so much for joining me here. My name is Sylvie and I'm the founder of LearnHowToGetAScholarship.com. It's a website where we curate scholarships for international students and we prepare students to apply for scholarships. We do that through group classes, through one-on-one -on -one classes and through standalone services so if you need any of those go to the website and book and we are going to work with you we have a group of experts they are going to work with you now we have introduced scholarship tutoring and i'm extremely 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 excited about it because we are going to be creating a community of scholarship seekers and scholarship grantees supporting each other throughout the process of applying for scholarships it's just one of me and my team is just th uh, three people. So that makes four of us. We cannot work with everybody at the same time. But when we create this community where we support each other, cheer what scholarships are there, then we are going to be creating an ecosystem where we'll be able to create more good, right? So if you are a scholarship grantee, please do us to sign up to be a tutor such that uh, you can help other people get scholarships. And if you are a scholarship seeker, reach out to us, tell us what scholarship you're going to be applying for. And we are going to link you with someone who can guide you from the start of your application process right through till the end okay Alrighty, i have a youtube channel you guys you'll go check it out and here on clubhouse this conversation is brought to you by the study abroad club so if you're new here please click that tiny house above my head go and follow the club and i'm going to invite you all to be members thank you guys so much for joining me on one scholarship a day i'm going to see you all tomorrow tomorrow which is uh thursday i'm going to see you all tomorrow so bye everybody Take care.